Hey everybody, this is the fourth year, and in this video I will be showing you how to do mid-side processing using only plugins that come with FL Studio. So I've made a preset that will do mid-side EQing, um, but later in the video I will also show you how to set up your own chain so you can do your own mid-side processing. And if you want to download this uh, preset, the link will be in the description. You can just do it off my Facebook page. So let me show you how it works. So this patcher preset is an effect preset, and you can just load it into one of the effect slots on the mixer track that you want to be processing. And how it works is in the editors tab of the patcher, you have three EQs, one for the mid, one for the side, and one for the stereo, which does both the mid and the side. And so each EQ works as it normally would, except for that it only processes uh, what it says it processes. So you can hear if I play, the song while adjusting the EQ on the stereo, it will affect the whole sound. So you can see that just filters off the whole sound. But if I do just the side, you'll hear that it changes just the, you know, the stereo information, not what's in the middle, like not what's coming out of both speakers, but what's coming out of each speaker independently. So you can hear when I filter out all of the sides, it becomes uh, a mono waveform. And then when I take it back down, it's stereo again. And that's just because if you filter it all off, you're removing the stereo information. And then if I change the mid one, that's just affecting everything that is coming out of both speakers, which will sound in the middle of your mix. So if I filter all of this away, it sounds really weird. Like it sounds really hollow and strange. So yeah, if you want to do some mid-side EQ and you know you don't have Fab Filter or any advanced EQ plugin, you can just use this patcher preset and you know you can EQ the mids by changing the mid EQ, and then same with the sides, and then the overall sound with the stereo one. And mid side EQ is, I've most commonly seen it used with mastering, but you know, there's no reason you couldn't use it while mixing, um, especially to kind of remove the stereo information from bass. That's one thing that's really good for. So you can hear, um, if I take this up, the piano, the low end of the piano will be more mono and kind of less muddy in the mix. And then, you know, boosting the side EQ can, can kind of cause a cool stereo enhancing effect. So rather than, you know, enhancing the entire stereo image, you're just doing it across a certain frequency range. And yeah, that's helpful to avoid some muddiness from having too much of a stereo width. So yeah, this is my mid-side EQ plugin. And now I'll show you how to make your own mid-side chain in the mixer if you want to do more than just EQ, like if you want to do some compression or whatever. Okay, so the first thing you do is link your sound 
to a channel and put on a fruity stereo shaper. And I'm going to rename this to mid. And I'm going to sidechain it to the empty track next to it. And then I'm going to rename this side and I'll color it the same. And then both of these I'm going to, oops, I don't want to route it only to that track, but I want to remove it from the master. So I've removed the mid from the master and I've put it into the next empty track. And then the side I'm going to route to this track only. And I'm going to call this one stereo. Okay, now on the stereo shaper plugin, you want to go to presets and do mid A side splitter. Okay, there's one issue with this. Uh, it's using a different in out. So you, you might need to change this depending on the order that you've set it up in. So for example, this one, I have to turn it to one because the first one it's going into is the side chain. If both of these were going directly into the master, then I would want it on two. But you just have to adjust this to make sure that it's going through the side chain. And you can see at one, it's going through the side chain. If I turn it off, it's not going through the side chain. And you know, two, I think it's going through the stereo. So yeah, for this example, I want it at one. And so you can hear if I turn the input from the mid to the stereo off, you'll hear just the side signal, which again sounds really weird. And then, you know, if I turn the side off, you'll hear just the mono. So, you know, so, you know, at this point you can EQ each, uh, whichever ones you want to EQ, you can compress them. Uh, you can even distort them if you wanted. So yeah, that's how you set up your mid side chain in FL Studio. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.